think my parents, frankly, still struggle to understand what I do. I mean, when I started, I told my parents, like, hey, I got this job. And they said, well, what are your coworkers like? And I was like, well, there's only two of them, but they're great guys. But I mean, what's the office like? And I was like, well, it's in a forest. And they were like, well, at least you're getting paid, right? And I was like, well, I used to get paid in this cryptocurrency <laughs> called Bitcoin. But they were like, whoa, you're going to get legitimate money? Bitcoin. It's an unspendable digital currency currently created by evil Asian men. It's being sold through sketchy vending machines. It's also been known as digital gold. But now it's being forked into many different shit coins all across the globe. And it's being traded by the billions every day. Olaf Carlson Wee, who was recently named by Forbes as the crypto coin magician, has been working hard to track down Bitcoin users and encourage them to stop using the digital currency. So my first technique that I use to get people off Bitcoin is like by having them buy a pizza and then they realize that they can't <laughs> use Bitcoin for anything useful. And then that pretty much allows them to realize that they are making a big mistake. What's it like to work for Olaf? Well... Um, he spends most of his nights working really late, trying to find clever ways to screw with people, and then he drives hours just to make them pay for coffee with uh, their dollars. And uh, and then you just find him eating pizza by himself. And getting people off of Bitcoin is, is not as easy as it seems. It takes a lot of planning and a lot of preparation to get them to realize how dumb they are. I mean, I used to have a lot of friends, but now their wealth is all tied up in Bitcoin that they can't spend. We, we don't even go on trips anymore. Have fun. We get, they get stuck just clicking through Coinbase hours at a time. It's destroying their lives. And I, I think I'm the one who has to stop this whole thing from happening. You know, like it's <laughs> literally up to me. If, if I don't do it, no one else will.